Hello guys here with another video. This one's going to be interesting because I've been following this game upwards until its first reveal back in 2016 and been excited ever since. I never thought Hideo Kojima could get me excited as much as he got me excited for Metal Gear Solid which is a series I grew up on within my childhood. Seeing him going back to his roots and creating compelling storytelling and something that has a mystery to it and a lore that's so rich that you just want to get immersed into makes me happy. I've been waiting for a title from Hideo Kojima like this for a long time and ever since the falling out with the studio that helped him get his start, I'm glad to see him bouncing back. Death Stranding Let's get into a summary of this game and what it's going to be all about. See right here he's scanning for BTs. Now some of you may not understand what that means. A BT are these beached things. Beached things are pretty much from the other side. If you guys don't know what that means, from the other side is basically what it sounds like. Maybe it's another dimension, a paranormal dimension where you see ghosts and dead uh, enemies and things like that. Now in these trailers, these story trailers, they talked about bound to Hades. Hades is probably exactly what it sounds like. Uh, this leads to the underworld. So maybe that's why the game is called Death Stranding. Now these are called BBs or bridge babies. A lot of people believe that this man right here has something to do with the creation of Bridge Babies and maybe he is going to be a key role or a key villain in Death Stranding. Death Stranding is so interesting because it's about humans as a collective and their fight against the metaphysical and things they don't understand. And I do think that this game will have a bigger impact. It has a message to send and I can't wait for it. Hideo Kojima's message and what he wants to bring to the table. So these bridge babies, let me explain. These bridge babies that you see uh, the main character carry, these bridge babies allow them to go to the other side. What is, why, why would they need babies to go to the other side? Well, I think that they get these babies from the other side, from the dimension, from Hades, from the underworld. And once they open that can of worms, that door, it allowed the BTs to get into that universe, that, that dimension. So that is probably why the game is called Death Stranding. It's called Death Stranding because you have a bunch of these dead entities, these ghosts, that, that are stuck in the human dimension. How did the how did that dimension get opened? What what did the babies have to do with it? The bridge babies? We don't know. But my theory is these bridge babies are the key to communicating because that's the only way that uh, Norman can detect them. He can't de detect them unless he is near these these things and he has one of the, it, unless he's near the beach things and he has the baby. Now, I did see a recovery chamber. Now, here's something that's gonna get interesting. You know how I said the baby has a recovery chamber? Well, that means that these babies can't last forever. I don't know if they have to keep producing them, reproducing them, because I heard you have to get sperm and egg from the other side and then take it back to base and create them. I don't know how that would work. Um, I know Higgs is gonna play a very huge role and Higgs is actually inspired by the Higgs effect. So the Higgs effect, if you guys don't know, is basically what holds the universe or all of existence together. And some particles have to go through a great filter to be able to come onto the surface level of a dimension. Basically what that means in short is that if you have something, let's put for example the BTs, right? These entities that are going to be the main threat in Death Stranding, all these dead beings that are now on the surface living world. These BTs will get to a point to where they pass that great filter where they will actually be able to fully interact with the surface world. 
and that can mean great trouble. It's already given the U, uh, UCA a run for their money. If you guys don't know what the UCA is, the United Cities of America was developed after a huge explosion happened. After this, and this explosion was caused by the BTs ravaging society. This left to corporations breaking off and creating their own entities and you got edge not city you got all these different factions and all of them don't feel the same way so you have this dystopian um, United States of America that is not a United Cities of America that's overrun by these beached things these BTs which is what uh, Norman is fighting against right now Hideo Kojima's mind is very interesting. He always pushes boundaries in gameplay, storytelling, and no one would have saw this coming. And it is very complicated, but at the same time, it's not too hard to understand. It has depth and story. And I'm excited to announce that I've already pre-ordered this game. It's coming out on my birthday. And with the connection, it looks like that some characters actually have developed the skill of knowing the BTs and they are able to understand the other side and I wonder if you as a player will have to go through that journey as well because I'm gonna put it like this with Star Wars this is why people praise George Lucas Star Wars for so long it's because you have the Jedi and the Sith and then you have the great Jedi and sometimes the Jedi has to step over to the dark side to come back to the light side to understand how to beat the dark side in a way I kind of can understand how Death Stranding has parallels to that Sam Cliff all these characters have parallels to Star Wars in a way and it's gonna be interesting to see what happens I'm excited um, you can think of Sam as that Jedi who's going over to the other side to learn how to destroy his enemies because his enemies have overran the country or in this case the world but they're giving us the perspective of the United States of America obviously but nonetheless this is going to be a great story and I can't wait to get my hands on it in this scene here Sam is about to kill himself it seems the story is probably bigger than all of us think my theories may be wrong the BTs could just be living entities and they don't want to be in this dimension I could be all wrong I don't know the game is also suggesting that you will get to play through different periods of time based on the deaths of individual um, entities or BTs so here you can clearly see that so past soldier in Vietnam maybe you will sometimes encounter souls that have died in a certain situation because BTs are deaf they are dead people and they you know they're on the surface world now they've ravaged the United States and now it's in these different factions and cities and I think Sam is gonna have to face these extremist groups that may have harnessed the dark side of death after all these souls are stranded on this planet they're stranded in this dimension they're not supposed to be at what's going to happen like in terms of these beings being sent back to where they came from is that even possible what will happen next I don't know but it's a very interesting story already what is this black goo? This black stuff that keeps coming from the BTs? Is it like a type of matter that is being formed? This can al already go back to the Higgs effect. It's so interesting. It's so awesome. Here in this scene, this character, he breaks Cliff. He breaks the fourth wall. He breaks the fourth wall in a way kind of telling the character there's more to come we there's more we need to know what does that even mean and if these babies are being made by these 
companies that work with Sam. My question is, is where are they getting this DNA? Is this DNA from the black goo, from the BTs, and then they re-engineer it and create the babies? And that's why he's able to use it, to use the babies, the bridge babies, the BBs, to detect, you know, certain entities. It's crazy. This guy right here, see, he's about to harness BT energy and create, see, he's taking souls and he's about to create a monster, a dog monster. It's crazy, man. I hope that explained some of why Hideo J Kojima has a beautiful mind to me because he took something that most people don't think about and made it into an intriguing story that now I'm here making a commentary video about something that I really want to play. They said single player games are dead, but I don't think single player games are dead by a long shot. As long as you can create interesting and engaging stories such as Death Stranding. I would go on to say that this game is even a masterpiece before it even came out. Yes, it could be a bad thing to say that because I could be wrong, but at the same time, I know that I'm right. I know that this game is very much going to be worth my time. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys understand why Hideo Kojima has such a beautiful mind and why he is probably the king of video games at this point. We will see you along for the ride, Sam, November 8th.